Well, guys, I had quite the nap. Felt like I was out for a while. Let's get this show on the road. About time you snore like a goddamn squatch, you sad sack of shit. Let's get moving. It's a long journey back to the castle. And I'm not looking forward to what bullshit I'm going to have to listen to on the way there. Same. Shut your mouth, woman. Fuck this climate. College of Winterhold 2.0. So listen here, you vampiric snatch. How in the hell do you exactly expect us to sneak through into the garden? I know I am sneaky, Joe, but I think you blood-sucking cocksuckers can smell my shit from a mile away. My abilities are at a disadvantage here. Well, seems you got the short end of the stick, Joe. I'm speaking realistically, of course. I guess metaphorically, too. Trump seems to get the idea already. Don't let this bastard infect you careful with that magical shit he's spewing out. I am a Biden and I am the big guy and you can't suck me off, so fuck off. Went to town on that Hojo goddamn, my boy. So, Serrano, you mentioned the castle was cut off from this section. I expect we won't be seeing any of your clan over here then, yeah? That is correct. There should be no higher vampires lurking within this particular area of the castle. Though I don't know what exactly we will find other than lesser or possibly more feral vampires and the typical leftover shit experimenting with necromancy. Necromancer and shit in the same sentence? Yeah. I just about dropped one myself. I hate necromancers. I think one day I will make it my mission to execute each and every one of those sacks of shits. Well, I don't know. There's a balance to all things in life, Joe. For good, there is evil. I mean, the broker helped us out immensely. Without her, we might not even be alive, honestly. You should know that better than anybody. You dumb fuck, you just shot your morning breath all over my goddamn cloak. Don't get in the fucking way next time, big shot. Uh, why is this fucker not dying? This bitch is sucking me off. Fuck up off me. Take my mighty Wuthrad. Talk about a gangbang, boys. Reminds me of a very long time ago. Damn. Nasty fucking gash. Can't compete, Joe. It's all good. That was intense. What in the actual hell was that? I don't even know. I actually am confused, but yeah, we won, so it's all right, I guess. About goddamn time. Everybody walk away. I've got business with this monstrous broad. I'm going to take a nice, long, hot piss on this nasty vamp. What are you looking at, impressed orange man? Get fucked. We need to get this guy a psychiatric evaluation. Holy shit, he's actually insane. You're only just realizing that now? As I've said before, I will use the might of my fucking tip and crack your goddamn fang woman. Keep your trap shut and I won't be needing to remind you of this fact once again. What were you saying, old man? Guys, help me please. Yeah, she has my balls in an iron fucking grip. Say please, bitch. You couldn't break me, you vile fiend. Nobody fucks with Sneaky Joe. I still made you my bitch. Some more of your ugly family dogs up ahead, oh. Serrano. You should see what they try doing to your leg. You are so fucking nasty. We look like a goddamn death squad. Epic as hell. My balls ache. Haha, <laughs> too funny. Yeah, I am going to have to kill her, Trump. I mean, if you think you can, Joe, she kind of did make you into a bitch, if you want me to be honest. The level of disrespect the thieves guild master is being shown this day is a disgrace i tell you nasty sumbitch spider watch out for that vampire looks to be no. feral like the last wasn't near as tough as the last. Anyways, what is this Serana, this uh, dial here, uh, some sort of puzzle perhaps? 
I'm in no mood for puzzles today, guys. Uh, I think I've got a few blood clots due to that bitch's iron grip. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. What's that exactly? Well, as far as I'm aware, it's the only one in existence. The previous owners of the castle had a sundial in the courtyard, and obviously that didn't appeal to my mother. She persuaded an elven artisan to make some improvements. You can see the plates that show the phases of the moons, Masser and Secunda. What the hell's that for? That's the thing. What's the point of a moon dial? I always wondered why she didn't just have the whole thing ripped out. But she loved it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's like having a piece of art, if you're into that sort of thing. What the hell am I supposed to do with it? Hard to say. Maybe if we found the missing crests, we could figure it out. I'm curious. What are things like with your family? I've already met your father, and he's, um, well, a real Hillary Clinton, that's for that's sure. a long story. I think we'd all appreciate the inside knowledge, considering we're helping you. I guess we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Hell no. I haven't been in this world long enough to know most of the wicked, crazy shit that goes down inside it. The first vampire came from Molag Bal. She... was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Bal is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift. But they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. You idiot. The Daedric Prince of Horsecocks did her in is the answer to your next question. The ceremony was... degrading. No shit. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. This shit's even more fucked up than my family. I'm out of this one. Yeah, walk the hell away. You've got fucked up written on your face. Well, it sounds like you weren't in the clearest frame of mind. I'm not sure it's really your place to judge me, to judge us. My family has its problems, but they're our problems. Let's just move on from here, okay? Yeah, her family has issues with pork fried fucking gash. Ignore him. What about a cure? A cure? Why even think of it that way? I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift, especially after what I did to get it. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here. And I'm alive. I, I can name myself. about 50 reasons why bitch and I'm gonna list each one of them right here and right now. You aren't wise to turn your back to me. I could bite your fucking jugular before you dropped your first shit. Let's just figure this moon dial out, guys. I'd like to ask you three. I had heard you mention a name earlier that I hadn't heard in a while. The Broker? She's alive? The Broker is alive, but... barely. She's been holding herself together like shards of broken glass. Her words, and I'm not sure if there is anything that can be done about it. Interesting. I would like to visit her sometime. Have you met her before? We'll discuss that another time. It honestly isn't important at the moment, and we've got a lot more to be focusing on here. These parts of the castle are unfamiliar to me. Be ready for anything. All that blood reminds me of the time Mercer Frey nicked my balls. That sucked. I knew you clowns were alive. Well, I guess you aren't exactly alive, but what I mean is I knew you fuckers were not... Hmm. What the fuck am I trying to say? You bastards aren't fooling me is what I'm getting at here. I've got you covered, Trump. Zap yo dumbass. I've got you. You little fucker. You can't outrun Sneaky Joe. Nice one, guys. That was pretty smooth. More of these gargoyles. These bastards pop out like I'm supposed to be impressed. That mask you've got is pretty impressive. I wonder if we'll find anything else like it. Well, if I'm not mistaken, that mask you have is one of a dragon priest. I'm not too sure about what Trump has, but the mask you wear has many other siblings. They belong to powerful dragon priests. You battled one yourself, I presume. Yeah, that battle isn't my proudest. That dude was a major cocksucker, that's for sure. Seems they both have something in common, Obama, except she fucks with the, the Daedric Prince of Horsecocks. You know, Joe, Fudinari spells exist in this world. I could equip myself with something if you would like to experience what you so obviously fetish over. How does three feet sound? A Biden never backs down from a challenge, bitch. Joe, 
The level of queer you're reaching is enough to undermine Barry and Big Mike. Watch out, bro. It's only gay if you make eye contact, Trump, any other way, and it's pure and utter dominance. I rest my case. You all heard it here first. I'm not gay, but like I said, a Biden never backs down from a challenge. I will dominate every foot of that shit. Pretty gay. Oh, let me guess. A statue? Nah, more like another gargoyle. Shit gets old real quick. My power is pretty incredible. Damn, I love this mask. I feel like a damn Hulk. Um, I've got a question for you, Serrano. Is, is the reason your father is such a low life sack of shit because he was cucked by Molag Baal? I mean, daughter and mother shared the Prince of Tree Trunk. Must have made that bastard feel like nothing, huh? Is that why he raised you to be so fucked up, too? Well, since you asked so politely, Joe, I guess I'll answer your question. No, he didn't give a shit about any of that. He was delighted. He has the greatest lust for power I've ever seen. That's all that's ever mattered to him, and I'm sure he has enough concubines to get over whatever emotion he may have felt. I will have you know Daedric Princes do not scare the mighty Sneaky Joe. I have faced the Daedric Prince of Madness Sheogorath himself and outwitted that dumb bastard. Sheogorath could fold you like a fucking chair if he wanted to. Don't get cocky. A Daedric Prince of Madness seeks no reason to obliterate you from existence, especially with how fucked up you are, Joe. You're candy for somebody who's mad. Nobody fucks with Sneaky Joe. Have you ever smoked marijuana before, Serana? Perhaps. I've smoked something, but not with that name. It made me feel hazy and brought a demonic slut out of me. Unfortunately for you, though, only for other women. It's rare I get like that with men. I'm sorry if I crushed you on that one. Yeah, well, sorry that we can't all compete with, you know, 50 fucking inches. Are you a dumbass? You actually think I took 50 inches? I think I struck a nerve with the bat bitch. You just clearly have some crazy fucking fantasies, and you're projecting them onto me, you nasty bastard. False bitch. Enough of your shit, Joe. I focus up. You're, we've got a room full of these bastards, and let's not pretend like they aren't going to burst. Be careful, Trump. There is a lot of those gargoyles in here. We've got your back. I knew it. Serana, why do your vampire people make that shit so obvious? Well, believe it or not, for thousands of years it wasn't, and worked. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. It can't be much further. We've been climbing this fucking castle like Ganondorf's tower. She is much of a whore as you two? You can ask her yourself if we are able to find her. I will teach that woman a lesson of respect. Serana, I would like to ask you, you do realize by the end of all of this, your father will most likely be dead. Yes, obviously I know. I feel like death has been looming over his head for a while now. There are two outcomes, either he gets his power or dies. There's no middle ground for him or for any of us vampires. At least this castle has shown me there can be no middle or normalcy. Where will you go? What will you do? You've been sealed away for so long. There's nothing left for you, really, is there? I guess trying to live my life outside of the control of my father would be the first thing. It's not something I've thought about much until recently. It's not as easy as it might look to accept this, but I know I need to. What is this Serana? What the hell? Looks like some ritual of the look occult. This, place. this has to be it. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. I've never seen anything like it. I've worked with the College of Winterhold for a while now as well. This is all interesting to me. I'm going to have a look around and see what sort of ingredients she was working with. Yeah, I'm no use here, so I'm going to find something to fuck around with and just let me know when you've both figured this shit out. Hmm. So what are you thinking? What's the next step here, Serana? 
Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. What are we looking for exactly? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. You know, I'm just curious after battling through a few dozen of those bastards, those gargoyles back there, was your mother familiar with using them as drones or weapons? Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. Hmm. There's got to be something you remember or know. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. So, she liked using magical constructs, huh? And they were fascinating? Allow my Biden brain to decipher this message for you, Trump. She means extra-large horse-shaped dildos that swirl 360 degrees while vibrating with an additional rotation on the fucking tip. Like I said. Like mother, like daughter. Yeah, that's exactly what happened and what she does. You got me good, dumbass. I found a bunch of books. It's probably here somewhere. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, Joe, these books all look as decrepit and fucked up as you. Maybe you ought to take a look and you tell us if you see anything that stands out. Trump, you know what was so funny about when you'd be on camera back in our world? You always looked like you were holding a Big Mac up against your chin. I counted three fucking layers of buns, you obese sack of shit. Now fuck off. I'm working on my poisons over here. Mm. The lusty Argonian maid. What the fuck? Read that shit out loud, Trump. I want to hear it. Lifts her tail. My goodness, that's quite a loaf, but however shall I fit it in my oven? This loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. It has yet to rise. Lifts her tail. If only we could hurry that along, how would I accomplish such a task? Oh, my foolish little Argonian maid, you must use your hands. Lifts her tail. You wish me to knead the loaf here? Of course, he says. I am erect and I feel powerful. Enough of that shit, you clowns. Keep searching for my mother's journal. Don't make me press my log under your fucking chin. That's enough, Joe. Let's figure this shit out. Yeah, listen to your handler, bitch. Oh shit, I found it, Serrano. We've got your mother's journal. Hey, Obama, can you come over here and help me with this shit? I think I've got the compound ingredients wrong for this poison I'm making. Sure, Joe, I'm coming over. What kind of poison are you making? There's tons lethal, paralysis, mind-numbing, and more. Honestly, I don't even fucking know. Show me the basics, buddy. I would appreciate it. Any luck yet? Here it is, Serana, your mother's journal. You did? Let me see them. I seen reference to the Soul Cairn. I've heard of that area before, but one different from the ones you vampires are familiar with. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the Soul Cairn. But why would she care about that? The Soul Cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. Fuck me. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly. To travel to the Soul Cairn itself. If she's there, we'll find her for sure. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. Okay, what do we need? A handful of Soul Gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Ah, oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which... If we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. What a dumbass. Fuck did you say? I didn't say shit. You realize you share her blood, right? Hmm. Not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Is all of the ingredients we need here? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. What the fuck that burns like goddamn acid? 
Are you all right? That looked painful. What the hell happened exactly? Am I not able to cross? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. So we can't go into the Soul Cairn? What the hell do we do now? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Are you saying I need to become a vampire? Not your first choice, I guess? I've already sacrificed a part of my soul once for beast blood. I'm not sure if I'm ready to sacrifice another part of myself. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. I've lost my beast soul already, goddamn. There won't be much left after this. Explain it to me. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the Soul Cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. So these are my only options? I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. It seems we've got to discuss some things, guys. Let's figure this out together. Yeah, this shit is turning into one big joke, if you ask me. None of this shit has been easy, and it's all been one big headache. Let me know when you three have decided on how we're going to handle this.